State budget cuts are being dealt with at a mountain school by parents who decided to pay their own way. The Ira B. Jones Elementary PTO voted to spend surplus funds on a teacher assistant spot that had been slashed as part of the reduction in classroom helpers. News 13's Frank Crocker is streaming live from the school in North Asheville. How much money are we talking about, Frank? It's only $4,300 for a one-year part-time position that covers seven fourth and fifth grade classrooms. But parents say money's really not the issue, that it's about making a difference and sending a message. Okay, so Eric, what can you tell them about the video that you watched this morning? Teacher Debbie Cross had been going it alone in a classroom of 22 kids, bundles of energy, anxious to learn. It wasn't easy getting the job done right solo. So it's crucial to give them the time that they need and the person sitting like we are face to face to help them with what they need. So it's not as much for the teachers as it is for the kids. In stepped Ira B. Jones parents agreeing to use some of their own donation driven PTO budget to cover the cutback that came from Raleigh. I think that this shows the state, look, if you're going to cut these teaching assistants, look, the PTO, if we're able to, we can step up, we will step up, and we will support our teachers if you're not going to. Which one out of all of your samples do you think shows layers like sedimentary? Ms. Cross's fourth graders are tackling science, the study of rocks. Well, what do you know about rocks and minerals? And they're all getting attention from teacher assistant Rebecca Freeman. This is sandstone. Ava Menkes is a student who really notices the difference. When we first didn't have her, Ms. Cross was all by herself and it was pretty hard, I think, for her. And now it's a lot easier, so things just slide through. She's a blessing to have, but she's divided seven ways. <laughs> like to have a full time one or, you know, half time, but the state has to do that. And I'm hoping that the state's going to bring them back, but. Um, no matter what, we're going to be here for our school and for our teachers and students. What's decided in Raleigh for next school year? Well, that remains to be seen. Of course, the parents here hoping other PTOs take their lead and that state legislators take notice. Reporting live in Asheville, Frank Rocker, News 13.